What's good? Back with another video. Y'all know what it is. Damn sure know what it ain't. Well, what we got going on a little different here. Printing out this image. I seen on one of my actual uh, inside my group that I have. And one of the members inside the group. Shout out to Kevin Boyd. He had this image. A couple of images I like. And I'm a Raider fan. So I was like, man. He sent me a couple of them. Because I was like, he had a couple of them that I liked as well. So this is what we got right here. And I'm just going ahead and playing with the colors because I'm trying to get that super, super, super silver grayish looking color going on. And you guys can see this is how this one right here came out. And this right here is kind of nice. I like it. I ain't going to lie, but I'm trying to get it way more gray than that because I too much don't like the way that looks. If you guys can check it out, it's looking real nice, but I want it darker. I just want a darker, darker image right here. This right here is a 12 by 12. So we just, you know, trying to get that thing in there dialed in right. So as you can see, I got a second image right here. And I'm actually printing out right now. I'm saying 12 by 12, it ain't nothing super big. Just trying to get the color profile right to my liking because I'm about to make me something with this right here. And I really appreciate, really appreciate you, brother, for sending me that nice little image. So if anything you need, a couple images yourself or whatever it is, some little advice. Holla at me. I got you. But yeah, this is what we're doing. we um been printing for a little bit. Not too long. Let me show you guys what it looks like. But it looks perfect. Looks nice. Great quality image too. Looks real nice. But I just want this gray to be a little bit darker than this. But this is actually nice, guys. Super nice. But you know, I like that grayish silvery look. So that's what we're going to go with. Go with that silver. I'm trying to get that super, super dark, dark. But hopefully this one right here comes out. We're printing with the with the big boy. Like I'm telling you people, go to the channel. I mean go to the website and um go purchase the ink. Go get the ink powder and film. Stop playing with yourself. Y'all watch my videos. Y'all see me print all the time. And y'all don't purchase the ink. Whatever ink you got, flush that out your system and put some of this ink in there. CYMK four whites ink powder and film get the whole combination see how the white look see how my colors look period my colors is vibrant my colors are super vibrant so anybody else that's printing good colors and good quality images hey that's what's up we all in the same boat but i know what i got you guys see the images and the quality all the time coming for y'all need to go support the channels and really help yourself because you're gonna get some quality ink let me go ahead and cut this light right here on for you guys because I've been printing because it's, you know, I like printing in the dark sometimes. But let me show you guys what this is looking like. Go ahead and go get you some of this good quality ink that I have, guys. You can see how that white look. So, you know, ain't clogging up your print heads or nothing like that. But you know how to make the system. You'd be all right. If you don't, then hope you figure it out. So, you guys want quality you want vibrancy, you want that good, good look. Go ahead and go get you some ink. That's all you gotta do. Go purchase the CYMK. We got desktop and we got for large printers, large format, wide desktop. I mean, wide printers, whatever you wanna say. But we got it. Just try to help you guys out, help you understand what's really going on with this printing because you're gonna be stuck like a truck. And I was telling people out there, <clears throat> these printers are the ones you want to go grab you don't want nothing else other than that you want to grab one of these printers this is what it is let's see how this comes out oh yeah see that's what i'm talking about see how dark this is i'm going to cut you guys off but look how dark that is that's a big big difference that's what i'm talking about i want that stupid stupid so comparing that one to this one let's see what we got let me see if I can go turn this around because this one is still wet too. I'm a comic book professional at this epoch this time. So let me show you guys what we got goes on here. Now you see, some people are like, which one is which? I can't tell, but this is the one that's more darker. That's the color that I'm going with right here. You guys can tell how this more look more grayish than this one. It's darker. That's what I'm going with, especially when you put it on that black, I mean that gray. Put this on a gray sweatsuit. It's gonna look super nice, guys. And I like that quality. So I had this go a little bit darker. 
just a little bit dark. So this is what we're going with. If you guys can see how dark that is compared to this, you know, that's what we're going with. So I'm just printing out a little simple, simple little images right here for myself and um, showing guys the quality of what goes on with these prints on a day-to-day -day basis. So get your ink, powder, your film right. Combination, ink, powder, and film. Make sure that you're not introducing too much air bubbles into your lines. What I mean by that, I don't have any cartridges laying around, but it's all about how you shake your inks. Or you can give your company a bad, or the person you bought your ink from, a bad name. Oh, he sold me some, some ink. If it clogged your print head up, now that's a different story. But if you just got air in your lines, and you think your print head is clogged, you'll find out if it's if your print head is clogged up it's going to throw you an error message because what's going to happen the ink is not going to be able to flow through that actual channel to go through the print head it's going to start going like this and it stops it's going to keep going like this and it stops and what happens keep going like this and it goes backwards and if all that pressure and force it's going to throw a code because it can't escape anywhere hope that makes sense so if you have a nozzle club, the printer throws a code, you're not going to be printing anymore. It's going to keep on having a clog error until you figure out how you're going to unclog that. I know one solution can fix all that. If you've been printing for a very long time, I know one solution can fix all that. You're not going to need no piezo flush. You're not going to need to get no ink cartridges so you can put actual piezo flush in it or Windex or whatever you're going to flush your ink system on with. You don't need to do none of that because what you can do is just change your print head because you print it too long, print it too much. You took a one year print head or a six month print head and you shorten the life head expectancy by you printing so much. You could be doing nozzle cleans, you can be doing power cleans, but you print it too much. Some people print all day long and don't do no power clean or don't do no head cleaning or don't do no nozzle check to see what their printer the nozzles is after a certain hours of print so 45 or whatever that's why your nozzles is clogged like with me when i do my print and i'll do a four or five gain sheets big large gain sheets 22 by 36s or 22 by 60s i'm gonna do me a nozzle check in between after i finish this whole gain sheet or finish two gain sheets I'm going to do me a nozzle check. Let me check and see what my nozzle see if I got to do me a cleaning or do me a power clean or cleaning pairs. Let me make sure this is going to be right because I don't want to have no long-term issue or create a long-term issue. I'm going to go ahead and deaden this out right now. You're going to get that out the way right now. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So just stay, stay tuned to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to get back to another one. I'll press this up on another day whenever I get to it and then we're gonna do a review about it gonna have the whole Raider fit for you guys you know what I mean so stay tuned shout out to everybody for liking comment subscribe to the channel and I'm out